Tara here, but you can call me T-Pow. So for the past five or six years, I've been having a Halloween party every single year at my house. And while I love spending time with my friends and dressing up for it, I usually use it as a means to justify baking a ton of Halloween treats and doing a few Halloween decor DIYs. But unfortunately, with everything going on this year, that party will not be possible. So I needed to find a different reason to do DIYs and make treats. And here's what I've come up with. For the next five days, I'm going to be having Halloween DIY week on my channel. If there's anything I'm good at, it's justifying things I want to do. So every day, I'm going to be uploading an easy, quick Halloween DIY that you can do at home with just a few supplies from the craft store. And as you saw from the title of the video, our first DIY is going to be this Constellation Pumpkin. So let's just get into it. So if you'd like to do this DIY exactly like me, what you'll need is a carvable craft pumpkin. If you can't find one that's already black, I recommend spray painting it black. But if you are lucky enough to find one that's already black, you'll need some acrylic paint in the colors blue, purple, white, and black for mixing. You'll also need some metallic gold paint or a metallic gold paint pen. And then you'll need some type of sponge or sponge brush and an old toothbrush that you're never gonna use again. You'll also need a serrated knife and a long screw. Our ultimate goal with this pumpkin is to paint it galaxy style draw constellations on it and then poke holes where some of the stars would be so that when we put a light inside it'll shine through the holes we've made. Now if you don't want to go the extra step of putting the lights inside the pumpkin you won't need the knife or the screw and your pumpkin doesn't have to be carvable. So there's lots of options here. And I also wanted to mention that you could totally do this with a real pumpkin you would just probably want to cut a hole in the top as opposed to the bottom, which is what I'm going to do. The first step is, if your pumpkin is not already black, to paint it black. Next, we're going to prepare our paint. So I have this old Tupperware lid to mix my paint on. You're not gonna need that much depending on the size of your pumpkin. First, I'm gonna be making some dark purple by adding some purple acrylic paint and mixing in just a little bit of black because a little bit of black paint always goes a long way. Case in point, mine came out a little too dark, so I had to add in a little bit more purple. Then you're gonna take your sponge, get a little purple paint on it, and then you're gonna start sponging onto your pumpkin. And we definitely don't want the paint to be super opaque. We want a little bit of the black pumpkin to show from behind to create that galaxy effect. So you wanna take a little bit of paint at a time and then sponge it onto the pumpkin and kind of dilute it a little bit. So continue around your pumpkin making random splotches, picking up a little bit of paint at a time, and then pressing it onto the pumpkin until there's pretty much no more paint on your sponge. When you're making your splotches, try to make them pretty organic looking. Don't try to make any particular shapes. You want it to look really random. Once you have all of your purple splotches done, then we're gonna make some dark blue paint. Now, obviously, if you already have these colors of paint, you can just use them. You don't have to make your own. But I only have like so many colors of paint, so I have to make my own. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did with the purple paint just with the blue paint. And I'm not cleaning my sponge in between because the whole point of this is to kind of have the colors blend together. It's okay to go from like one to the other or just like dip in without cleaning. I should also note that you can really use any colors you want for your galaxy, but I recommend choosing your darkest color as your kind of base for your big splotches and then working up to your lighter colors from there. I'm kind of laughing because on camera this looks really bad but when you see it in person, it's much more subdued, like the colors blend together much better, but the harsh lighting is making it look a little crazy, but I promise when it all dries, it'll look okay. I wasn't going to do this, but now that I have this gold paint lying around, I kind of want to make some splotches of gold as well. This next part can get a little messy, so I put some paper down, but you're going to want to grab your white acrylic paint and your toothbrush. You might be able to see where this is going, but we're going to dip our toothbrush into the white paint, and then we're going to take our fingers and we're gonna 
pull back on the bristles to flick the paint at the pumpkin to create like little specks of white to serve as stars in our galaxy. And you can do as much or as little as you want. This for me is the part that really makes it look like a galaxy instead of a crazy splotchy pumpkin. So if I want some big ones over here, I'm going to pull like really far back and it'll splatter a lot more on the pumpkin. So this is what my pumpkin looks like after all the white specks. I think it adds so much more dimension to the pumpkin. Once all your paint is dry, now we can start doing the constellations. Now I'm just gonna do freehand constellations. They may or may not be real ones. I don't know every constellation. But if you want to do like real constellations, like let's say you want your zodiac sign constellation on your pumpkin, I recommend printing it out and then like taping it onto the pumpkin and then poking through with a pencil or something so you know where the dots go. But for me, I'm just gonna freehand it. So I'm just drawing circles and then connecting them with lines, constellations. Now I'm just going back and adding a bunch of individual stars that aren't part of a constellation because eventually, as you'll see, I'll be poking holes wherever there's a star and that is where our lights inside will shine through. So if you've ever carved a pumpkin, usually you take your knife and you cut a hole in the top so you can lift the top off and put whatever you want inside. But because this is not a real pumpkin, I'm actually going to cut a hole in the bottom. I don't want a seam here, so I'm actually going to cut out of the bottom. You can see I already made a hole just because I wanted to see how thick the pumpkin actually was. Now your hole doesn't need to be that big, just big enough that you can insert the battery pack of whatever lights you're using. I do recommend using battery powered LED lights as opposed to something you have to plug into an outlet. And then you're just gonna cut through like you would a real pumpkin. I'm not even going to keep this because it already has a hole in it from when I tested it. You're welcome to keep it and insert it back in, but once your pumpkin is sitting there, it's not like the battery pack is gonna go anywhere. So it really doesn't matter if you keep the piece or not. Now for this next part, we're going to poke holes in the pumpkin anywhere we want light to shine through. And you can totally use a drill to do this, like a cordless drill, and it would be super fast and super easy. But not everyone has access to that, so I was trying to think of a way to do this without any kind of power tool. And what I came up with is just this long screw that I can poke through the pumpkin. So for example, it just literally, if I press hard enough, it just pokes through. And you can like shake it back and forth a few times to kind of like make sure the hole is open. And that's it. You don't need any fancy power tools. I do think it would be quicker with a power tool, but you certainly don't need one. The final step is to put in the lights, but it's not very impressive in the light, so let me show it to you in the dark. And that was our first Halloween DIY. And don't forget, for the next four days, I'll be uploading a different easy Halloween DIY every single day, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.